what is up youtube i'm back with another video welcome back to my channel i am seven bell from the city and you're watching seven bell speaks sunday so today's message today's word of the day is be kind and always do a self check <clears throat> so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a story time to talk about when I had to do a little self-check, a little self-examination, and check if I was doing the right thing in the eyes of God, in the eyes of myself. So, um, the other day I went and I got my nails done, my two-week, three-week routine or whatever, and these are them. Fire, right? I got like some holographic unicorn nails. These ones are plain. And then I got. How rude. Sorry, guys. Anyways, I got um, a flower. So, anywho, I got my toes done too. Um, and. So, when I was getting the nails, originally I was just going to get this plain color. It's like a frosted, like, clearish pink. And the I was like, I want to get something extra, so I got a flower. And then um, she was like, oh, you want, you want shiny? You want shiny nail I do for you? You know. So, um, she don't really, really sound like that. She's younger. Anyways, um... So I'm just getting this plain color or whatever. And she's like, you want um make shiny? I'm like, sure. You know, so she's like, you want silver or holographic? I'm like, I'll take holographic, you know, rainbows, whatever. And so it's like a special little thing that they do with um like a makeup sponge. They take like some glitter and then they put a little bit of gel polish on. And then once it dries, they like scrub it on with the nail polish. And it like sticks to the polish and makes this like iridescent type thing and I've seen them do it with like silver and gold I've seen them do it on Instagram and stuff before and so excuse me I never really thought about trying it but like when she said something I was like oh okay you know so sis hooked it up or whatever it looks nice so I had told her like I only wanted it on a couple nails because I don't know why I like to keep like a, a little bit of simplicity with my nails so I told her I just wanted like every other nail um, and I didn't know exactly what she was talking about when she explained it, so. But I'm glad that I did that, because I think they charge by now. So, when I asked for the flower, I was like, how much is it for, like, rhinestones and stuff? And she was like, $5 per nail, unless you want the whole nail covered. It's $10 per nail. So, I'm like, um, I'll just get the little flower or whatever and leave it at that. She's like, okay. So, I didn't ask if the chrome part was extra. So, um, after she finished or whatever, she, no, I always get gel in my nails, so I know that's going to be extra. Um, and it was just a fill, mind you, not a full set. She goes, $63. I'm like, hmm? Because, you know, some places you go, your nails is going to be, like, maxing. But, like, usually I don't get that much on my nails, so my nails is usually between 40-something, you know, 36 sometimes if I get a fill and I don't really get anything on it at all. You know, so... $63, I'm like, take it all off, take take it off, I don't want it, no, I'm uncomfortable, pineapples, like, take it off, but I didn't say that, I'm like, oh, I'm not about to look like I don't got it, like, I don't got money, so, I give her $63, and I, you know, I use my card, so then, um, they have a sign that says, cash only tip, I was like, you know, alright, cool, cool, that's my way out, cool, cool, you know, so, I'm like, um, I've had to go to the bank to get your tip. She's like, okay. So, I'm walking. I'm like, I'm not about to tip her. Like, I just spent $63. Like, who she thinks she is? She didn't make me get this chrome and all this stuff. Like, $63. You're burnt. <laughs> but then, I was like, well, that's my bet. Because when she offered, I could have said, how much is it? Does it cost extra? But I did not. So, I'm like, 
that's my bet. And I would have tipped her. Like, I always tip people, you know. Um, so I'm like, I should tip her. So, like, I'm walking out of the building, and um, I had walked past this um, man that was standing there with a cup, homeless, and um, he had a sign, but I didn't read it. And, you know, I walked past him. I'm like, I don't carry cash, sir. I'm sorry. Um, and so, which is true, and I always tell people that, you know, but if you guys know, I, I will buy somebody something to eat instead, you know. But this particular day, I was like, I just spent $63 on my nails. I'm not buying nobody nothing to eat. I'm not even buying me nothing to eat. I'm about to go home and cook. So, um, but so I walked past him, and I'm like, I'm about to tip her. And then I'm going back on myself. So I walk back up the street to the bank, and I'm like, I should tip her because I was going to anyway, like, I didn't told her I was coming back to tip her, you know what I'm saying, even though people probably do that all the time, um, but I'm like, you know, I, I should tip her because I was going, I would have anyway if I didn't spend this much on my nails, like, you know, I did get what I asked for and extra, like, that's not her fault that I didn't ask, that's her hustle, that's what she's supposed to do, you know, so I decided to go get the money to tip her. So I go to the bank and I get um, $10 out and I'm like wait, 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 wait. I, you know, I'll be giving people $10 you know, whatever. But maybe she don't need a whole 10 So I'm like, alright, I'll give her 5 So I go inside the bank like, can I break this? Can I get two fives? So you know, mind you, I had walked past the, the man and I'm like um maybe I should give the money to him instead of her i'm like you know but i'm like no you know at least she meant she did my nails i'm giving her some money for her service like i'm just giving it to him then i'm like well you know i mean he don't have it like this ten dollars or five dollars means more to him than it than it really would mean to her like she's making money like this all day every day you know what i'm saying like he's not gonna get a five dollars today, probably. Somebody it'll take him a couple of hours to make that five dollars. What him getting a couple pennies and dimes and nickels that he's been getting all day, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna take him time to work that up, you know. So I had walked up the street while well, I'm saying this, because by this time I had gone to the bank and broke the ten into two fives and I had gone up the street with the intention to give her one of the fives and keep the other five. And then then I'm having this conversation about the man, so then I decided to give the money to him. And then I was like, well, she don't need a tip, you know, and then I was going to give him the five and keep the other five. And so then I'm like, wait, you know, I need to give him the money because who am I? You know, at first I wasn't going to give it to him saying like, oh, well, at least she did my nails. So, you know, it's like, okay, so he doesn't deserve any money from me because he doesn't have anything to offer me. Like... That goes against everything that I that I talk about, everything that is in my word of God, you know. Um, so what I'm saying by not giving him and giving her is she had something to offer me, one. And two, I don't want to look like I'm broke. So I want to give her money and let this man who could eat today with this $5 go hungry because he doesn't have anything to offer me. Like, what does that say? So I had to sit there and do a self-check, you know. So, eventually, I decided to give her the tip and give him $5, you know. So, I put $5 in his cup, and he was so appreciative. And when I got up, I realized that his son said that he was a former vet. Now, many of you may say, and I even said to myself, he probably isn't really a vet, you know, but he could be. And with my brother being in Afghanistan, um, that means all the more to me. So, even if he isn't, in my intention, with my intention was to give him money for food and he's a former vet you know that's his take up with god if that's not the case but from my eyes and my from my perspective i was feeding a former vet you know so he was very very appreciative um and then i went and i took the other five to her and she was actually shocked that i came back so i'm sure a lot of people were saying like oh i'll go to the bank and come back and don't which i wasn't going to at first you know so um she was like wow thank you you know and so the moral of that story is just that sometimes we have to do a self-check. Now, I'm sure I look crazy because while I'm going back and forth with this in my mind, I'm walking up the street like, nah, I ain't going to tip her. I walk back up. Yeah, I'm a tipper. I go to the bank. I'm going to give 
the tip to her and keep the other five. No, I'm gonna give it to this man. No, she not. She don't need a tip, you know. You, and I eventually decided to give both. So I probably look like a crazy person, but um, you don't have to physically <laughs> do what I did. But mentally, you should always check yourself to say, "Am I acting accordingly as God would have to, you know, me to do?" Um, we used to always wear those bracelets in vacation Bible school. WWJD, what would Jesus do? Um, the t-shirts, the hats, the towels, you know, whatever. I even see people have them on their purses, their Bible cases, um, the bracelets. The, we used to make them in Bible school with the beads, you know. So, that statement still rings true. We have moments like these. What would Jesus do? What would he have you to do? You know, if you're walking down the street and you see somebody in need and... We have this notion that we don't want to give to people because of what they might do with it or whatever. And I always say the easiest solution for that is offer them something to eat. You know, offer to go buy them something to eat. Save your uh, leftovers from your meal and give it to them. You know, instead of eating it later or putting it in your fridge and throwing it away because you didn't eat it all week. Um, you know, just ask of yourself, like, what would God do? What would God have me to do? You know... Oftentimes, we're willing to throw our money at people just so people can think we look good. You know, we get our nails done so we can show them off on Facebook. We get our hair done. We spend thousands of dollars on things that God doesn't care about, you know. And we think that we're justified in that because or we feel validated in doing that because we're getting something else out of it. But the biggest thing that we can get out of something is salvation. And by giving to those less fortunate and by helping those, you know, that God wants to save, that is the biggest gift that you could give somebody, you know, and that's the biggest blessing that you could get out of it that you can't put a price on. It's, you know, God's blessings. Um, God will bless those who have a cheerful heart to give. And so forget, you know, looking good or you know, I, I didn't want to not tip her because I don't want her to think like I didn't have enough to tip her and get my nails done. You know what I mean? But forget all that. God doesn't care about any of that. I want to know that God sees me in the light that he wants to see me as the young woman of God that he called me to be. So that's why I stopped and I checked myself and I went off and gave him the money, you know, and I gave to her because, you know, she works for her money. That's what she does for a living is to... um do nails and she did a very good job you know so she took her time to make sure that I got the things that I wanted in my nails you know what I mean so I feel like the tip was worth it for her as well um but you know check yourself you know when you're trying to spend money on whatever you're spending money on maybe you could get less with that and do something for somebody else even if you don't want to go and hand money to somebody off the street somebody a family or somebody you think you know, would be a need or benefit from a basket or, you know, whatever. Just do something for somebody else um, before you do things for yourself or for the gain of looking like something to somebody else, you know. Um, do a self-check and there's nothing wrong with the way you're thinking as long as you can correct it, you know. When you think something and you have to question it, you know, just ask, is this what God would want of me? Is it ask if this was something that God would do, you know? Um, and then make your decision, you know? So do a self-evaluation. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend if you like what you saw. And leave me lots of love and comments in the comment section. And I will see you guys next week.